What's going on folks, my name's Alex, this is Mr. Alex Tech and welcome back to 5 Minute Friday. In this video I'm going to show you how to create that cool animated 4 colour gradient overlay effect from within the edit tab of DaVinci Resolve. Now yes you could do this within the colour tab but this is a really great trick for those that want to quickly add a stylish overlay effect to their footage without ever leaving the edit tab. So why wouldn't you? So without any further ado let's open DaVinci Resolve and take a look. So here we are within DaVinci Resolve, we're on the edit tab and I've already got some footage set up on my timeline. So the first thing we need to do is to add our gradient and it's dead easy. Open up the effects library, come down to generators, grab the four color gradient and we're just gonna put that on our timeline above our footage like so. We'll just lengthen it out so that it's the same length, give it a click, open up the inspector in the top right hand corner and then we're gonna to go to the generator tab and from here, we've got a few options. So first up, we can change the X and Y axis if we want to, so just experiment with those. And then we've got our color pickers here. Upper left, upper right, lower left, and lower right. And all you need to do is give each one a click, open up the color picker, and then select the color accordingly. Now, whatever colors you go for really depends on you and the project that you're working on. If you want to warm things up, I like to stick to yellows, reds, and oranges. You can cool things down using purples, blues, and greens. If you're doing a music video or a car video, you can sort of go crazy and just pick whatever colors you like, but you can have loads of fun with it, just experiment. And don't worry, you can always come back to this point at any moment to change the colors if you're not happy with it. So for this one, we're just gonna leave it as it is, and we'll come back and change the colors later if we need to. Next, we just need to click on this settings tab to go to the main settings of this color gradient. And then we're going to come down to the composite mode. If you're on DaVinci Resolve 16, the composite mode will be located at the top. And then what we're going to do is change the composite mode from normal. And again, you can sort of experiment with this, play around with the different ones, but two that work particularly well, color or scroll right to the bottom. And there's this one here called soft light. Give those a click. And then you can see we've added this four color gradient and it's starting to affect our footage underneath. We've also got our opacity, so we can just lower the opacity and bring it up of our overlay to get it looking exactly as we want it. And then if we were to just hit play, you can see now we've got this gradient. If we're not happy with the color, we can just go back to the generator, pick on any of your colors. Let's go with this red and let's just change this. Let's just go with a more of a purple. And we'll change this cyan to a bit of a red. There we go. That's starting to look pretty cool. So that's it. That's our four color gradient done, but that's a static gradient. So it's not actually moving. It's not really doing anything. It's just in the same place the whole way through. And we want to animate it to give it a different effect. And again, it's really, really easy to do. So what we're going to do, jump back into that settings tab. First thing we're gonna do is zoom in. So we're actually gonna be rotating things, but if we rotate it without zoom, we'll cut the edges off. So zoom right in, about 2.2 or 2.5 usually works well. So let's go with 2.2. And then we can start messing with the rotation. And all we want it to do is as the footage plays, for this to rotate, which will move the colors around, giving us a different effect. So to animate this, all we're gonna do, bring our playhead right over to the far left of our full color gradient. And then next to the rotation angle, click on this little icon to add a keyframe. Move our playhead right to the end of the gradient. And then just set the rotation to whatever you want it to be. So if you want it to rotate all the way through once, set the angle to be 360 degrees. Or you can do 720, 900, whatever you want. So I'm just going to put 900 in there and hit enter. And then if we hit play, we've got this. And we can see the colors just moving around the screen. And it looks actually really quite cool. If it's moving too fast, just use this little arrow here to go to the end keyframe and it'll be highlighted in red like so. And then change the 900 to something lower. So let's go with 540 instead. And now that will slow the rotation down, slowing all the colors down and you're good to go. At any time you can jump back into your generator, change the colors, get the look that you're going for. You can also of course copy it, paste it, grab some other footage. So let's just go with this one down here. And there we go, have a play with it. It's a really cool, simple, easy effect to do in DaVinci Resolve. And there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you've got any thoughts or feedback, pop them down in the comment section below. And if you're new here, you enjoyed this video, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Thanks ever so much for watching folks. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time. See ya.